Welcome to Asheville, North Carolina. Now I know what you're thinking. Hey, didn't you say South Carolina last video? And you'd be right. Yes. Yes, I did. But the only reason I said South Carolina is because I'm an idiot. I got in last night and stayed at my friend's place. I really dig this little area and I really like the townhouse style with the house above the garage. And with the stealth van style, you can barely tell that some crazy guy drives that van around the country. So I forget the actual town th that I stayed in, but we explored Asheville, North Carolina. So I'm just going to assume that's where I was the whole time. I'll let St. Peter judge the validity of that later. Asheville is widely hailed to be the Portland of the South. So what does that mean? Well, if you've seen the show Portlandia, you'll get an idea of what it's like. It's full of hippies and their modern day evolved form. The architecture is nice. It's a small, big city. You can walk across it in about 40 minutes. There's lots of stuff to do though. We walked through a few shops. This leather tanner had some cool belt buckles for sale. Having lived and worked in the airline industry all my life, I have some weird fondness for planes. Delta's trying to get rid of the 747s, so if you get a chance to fly in one, I'd recommend it. Go for the top bunk. Uh, we then went into this one bookstore and found some, you know, normal, everyday children's literature. <laughs> Woo! How about a nihilism coloring book? Are these the Nazis, Walter? No, Donnie, these men are nihilists. There's nothing to be afraid of. Are these guys gonna hurt us, Walter? No, Donnie, these men are cowards. But it wasn't all bad. Someone there had good taste. Pisgah National Forest, North Carolina. I'm pretty sure it's part of the Smoky Mountains, or it's at least right next to them. There are lots of waterfalls here, like 3,000 miles of hiking trails and camping, of course. The best part is that it's so high up in elevation to where I was the previous days that it's a good 15 degrees cooler and you can't beat that for a summer day. This is Looking Glass Falls, a swimming hole with a pretty big waterfall. It's hard to see the size of it in pictures but it's probably at least four stories high. But where does the name Looking Glass come from? Well I'm glad you asked. The name Looking Glass comes from Looking Glass Rock where water freezes on its sides in the winter and then glistens in the sunlight like a mirror or, you guessed it, a looking glass. Then there's sliding rock right down the path a bit. There's a long line for what you might guess people do at sliding rock. Sliding. The rocks are smooth enough that you can go and slide down some distance to the waterfall and into the pool below. Now I didn't have my swimsuit with me and we didn't want to wait in such a big line so we watched from some of the several observation areas and that's still some really great atmosphere. A few days after I left the area, they actually shut down the park due to a manhunt for a criminal that escaped into the forest on a stolen mountain bike, and that's kind of crazy. Just the other day, I saw a video from another Van Life channel of them visiting Sliding Rock, and I'm thinking, small world. Though, I wouldn't want to slide down here in November, which is when they were there. The water would be freezing. If you want to see more of Sliding Rock, I suggest taking a look at their video, and the link for that is below. And before I left Asheville, we stopped at a nice Thai restaurant. If you haven't had Thai tea, I recommend it. It's a strong black tea with condensed milk on top. It's good stuff, and it's also visually appealing. 